Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ya Rabbil Alam. Rabbi shirah alayhi sadri wa yassir li amri wa la nubdatan wa lisani yafqahu qawli. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amadir asker ekhan kar abad chubishya halo bhebriyo koleri. Mahanadhi shayti anek kamo. Vibrio Colleri, our lesson plan is called Vibrio Colleri. Name that put the cast. Only that Vibrio Colleri will be called Coma Shape Basil. So the Coma can be some kind of that shape. That Coma means that gram negative basil. But the name that is there, Vibrio means which vibrates. It is highly motile. Our Colleri, Collera, that is Collera. Hello, I am talking Collisis that is bile of. Flow of bile. Mone kora hoto je vibrio colleri stool ta jeno jeno rice colleri shaja jeno mone kora hoto flow of bile. Shikhan te gay a vibrating bacilli isolated from cholera patient is named as vibrio colleri. What are the review questions on vibrio? What are the salient properties of vibrio? How they differ from family intravitreci? Which disease caused by vibrio cholerae and how? Why vibrio cholerae is so named? We answer this question. How can you diagnose a case of cholera in the laboratory? Why vibrio cholerae is so important in our country? How can you classify vibrio? What is the principle of treatment of cholera and mechanism of cholera toxin difference between? <coughs> Vibrio cholerae was first isolated by Filippo Pesini in 1854, but that time the culture technique was not that developed. Finally, it was, it was discovered by Robert Koch, and Robert Koch traveled Kolkata Medical College to discover this bacteria, Vibrio cholerae. This belongs to family Vibrio Nessi, and it has got many species. We will see classification after one. Vibrio cholerae has a seasonal, seasonal uh, epidemic, epidemicity, and for a long time it was not, it was not known where the Vibrio cholerae resides other than the, than the epidemic season. Finally, it was discovered that in wet season, it is found in symbiosis with blue-green algae. And this is also a discovery of a, a Bengali scientist. Vibrio cholerae infects upper small intestine, which secretes cholera toxin. And this is, causes massive watery diarrhea. So this is a gram-negative aerobic bacillus. It is a carb drought, coma-like. Size, it is a medium sized bacteria, highly motile. That's, that's why it is called Vibrio, that is vibrating with a single polar flagella, oxidase positive. And this is the shape of the Vibrio. You see the coma shaped with polar flagella. Vibrio cholerae, once upon a time, Amadadeshita Ola Uthao Bolto, Onikulo pandemic. Since 1817, there have been seven cholera pandemics, and the first six occurred from 1817 to 1923, caused by Vibrio cholerae, the classical biotype, and the pandemics originated in Asia. Seventh pandemic began in Indonesia in 1961 and affected more countries and continents than the previous six pandemics. It was caused by Vibrio cholerae delta. The Bengal strain was Vibrio cholerae 0139. It was found causing epidemic of cholera in 1992. And some experts regard this as eighth endemic, but it was not that severe. It was also known as Vibrio cholerae Bengal. It has now spread throughout Bangladesh, India, and neighboring countries in Asia. 
crowding and gathering of the people during religious ritual muslims pilgrims to mecca or hindu swimming festival in the holy rivers enhance the spread of infection <clears throat> in 1994 94 countries reported 385000 cases of cholera to who but the number reported in 1998 was only 121000 this is a, a typical scene taken from icdrb during our epidemic of cholera this is a makeshift hospital why biblio cholera is important in our country is important for following regions number one biblio cholera causes cholera which is endemic and epidemic in our country one strain that is o139 is known as biblio cholera bengal and one media is discovered by a bangladeshi scientist professor kabi abdul mansur known as mansur media for cultivation of this bacteria and robert cock father of medical microbiology visited calcutta to examine the stool of cholera patients for discovery of biblio cholerae and ors is uh, popularized at icdrb dhaka how biblio differs from enterobacteria Vibrio are a carp bacilli, whereas Enterobacteria are straight broad. Vibrio is motile by single polar flagella, Enterobacteria by peritrichous flagella. Vibrio are oxidase positive, whereas Enterobacteria oxidase negative. Vibrio can grow in alkali pH, but Enterobacteria do not grow. This is uh, Professor Kaji Abul Mansur. the renowned bangladeshi microbiologist and this is me so let us examine the classification of vibrio cholerae it belongs to the family vibrionesi with vibrio cholerae vibrio parahemolyticus malnificus fluvialis mimicus vibrio cholerae cholerae is the main culprit it has got more than 150 serotypes and previously only serotype 1 was associated with epidemic endemic and pandemic cholera and non o1 causes mild diarrhea till 1992 there are three serotypes ogawa inawa and hikojima and two biotypes classical and elator till 1992 it was known that o1 is responsible for classical cholera and non o1 cause mild diarrhea but in 1992 o139 caused an epidemic and pandemic cholera and it is named as vibrio cholerae bengal you see this uh, toxogenic vibrio cholerae can also be classified as two epidemic serotype o1 and o139 other serotypes o2 to o138 are do not cause classical cholera the o1 again divided into classical and elator as you have seen six pandemic were by classical biotype and one this pandemic seven pandemic was by elator biotype this can be uh, divided into three rhigotype inawa ogawa hikojima so vibrio cholerae can be toxigenic and non toxigenic o1 and o139 are toxigenic the disease caused by uh, vibrio cholerae is mainly toxin mediated and enterotoxin acts locally and does not invade the intestinal wall it is phase mediated as a result few rbc wbc and no rbc are found in the stool fluid loss originates in the duodenum and upper jejunum ileum is less affected colon is usually in a state of absorption but because it is relatively insensitive to the toxin large volume of the fluid produced in the upper intestine however overwhelms the absorptive capacity of the lower bowel which results in severe diarrhea there are uh, more than 150 serotypes of which o1 and 139 are 
causes classical cholera, two bio type, classical analytos, three serotypes, Ogawa, Inawa, and Hikoji. Transmission by fecal oral route through contaminated water and food. And infective dose is 10 to the power three to 10 to the power six. When ingested with food, fewer organisms are required to produce disease, name only 10 to the power two to 10 to the power four. All ages but children and elderly are more severely affected. Subject with blood group O, o are more susceptible, causes not known. Subjects with reduced, reduced gastric acid are also more susceptible. Virulence factors of bibliopolity O1 and O139. Of course, the number one factor is cholera toxin. Besides cholera toxin, co-regulated pilus, which helps in adherence to mucosal cell adhesive. Some accessory colonization factor like adhesin, accessory cholera enterotoxin, flagellum, sedurophores, they are accessory virulence factors. Mechanism of action of cholera toxin, this cholera toxin has got two, two, type, two units, A and B, by B subunit, it binds with intestinal epithelial cells. Then A subunit enters into cells and activate animal cycles. This increases concentration of cyclic AMP within the cells. So there is hypersecretion of water and chlorides and inhibition of reabsorption of sodium. This results in distension of the intestinal lumen with fluid and there is hypermotility leading to profuse diarrhea. Incubation period is very short, 24 to 48 hours. Symptoms appear sudden onset of watery diarrhea, may be followed by vomiting, fever is typically absent, and the uh, stool character is rice water. And rapid dehydration occurs, and there is severe abdominal cramp also. Lab diagnosis is based on demonstration of the organism by microscopy, special type of microscopy, that is dark brown microscopy, isolation and identification in a special cursor, and antigen can be detected from the stool by immunological test. So organism can be seen in stool by direct microscopy after gram stain or dark field elimination, can be cultured in a special media like TCPS and Monsus media, Serological tests are available to define the strain and antigen detection can be used. This is a, a picture of Monsoor's media. Treatment primary goal of the therapy is to replenish the fluid losses caused by diarrhea and vomiting. Fluid therapy is accomplished in two phases, rehydration and maintenance. Rehydration should be completed in four hours and maintenance fluid should be replaced the ongoing losses and provide daily requirement. Drug therapy goal is to eradicate the infection, reduce morbidity and prevent complication. The drugs used include tetracycline, doxycycline, cotrine, ciprofloxacin for a minimum of uh, three days, not more than three days. Drug resistance has been described in some areas and choice of antibody should be based on the drug resistance. And complication is electrolyte imbalance is the commonest complication. Hypoglycemia can occur in children. Isolation and barrier nursing is important from the public health point of view. Notification of the case to local authorities is still mandatory, trace of source of infection. It can be prevented by uh, hygiene practice. So health education is very important. Provision of safe drinking water and antibiotic prophylaxis to household contacts is of index cases. Is, and vaccination is uh, against cholera to travelers and epidemic uh, is, is going on. There are two types of vaccines. 
old vaccine is no longer used now there is oral live vaccine it is uh, it gives local immune response to the gut and blood immune response so this is about uh, vibrio cholerae thank you very much for patient sharing assalamu alaikum